A blessed day, learners. Get ready to embark on a journey of learning and enjoyment in this video. Today, we will be exploring the fascinating topic of types of observations and measurements in physical science through our let review self-learning video. Remember to stay safe, and may God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What are the two main types of observations in physical science? Letter A Qualitative and Quantitative Letter B Direct and Indirect Letter C Numerical and Graphical Letter D All of the above Which type of observation involves numbers? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D indirect. Which type of observation is made directly with the senses? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D indirect. Which type of observation is made using instruments or tools? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D indirect. Which type of observation is expressed in numbers? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D indirect. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If yes, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. We will help you deepen your understanding through this video. There are two main types of observations in physical science, qualitative and quantitative. Mayroong dalawang pangunahing uri ng mga obserbasyon sa physical science, qualitative at quantitative. Qualitative observations are descriptive and do not involve numbers. They are often used to describe the appearance, texture, or smell of an object or substance. For example, a qualitative observation of a piece of metal might be that it is shiny and cold. 
Ang mga obserbasyon ng husay ay naglalarawan at hindi nagsasangkot ng mga numero. Kadalasan ginagamit ang mga ito upang ilarawan ang hitsura, pagkakayari, o amoy ng isang bagay o sangkap. Halimbawa, ang isang qualitative observation ng isang piraso ng metal ay maaaring ito ay make and tab at malamig. Quantitative observations involve numbers and can be used to measure the size, weight, or speed of an object or substance. For example, a quantitative observation of the same piece of metal might be that it is 5 centimeters long and isang daang gramo heavy. Ang mga quantitative observation ay kinabibilangan ng mga numero at maaaring gamitin upang sukatin ang laki, timbang, o bilis ng isang bagay o substance. Halimbawa, ang isang quantitative observation ng parehong piraso ng metal ay maaaring 5 centimeters ang haba at 100 gramo heavy. In addition to these two main types of observations, there are also a number of other types of observations that can be made in physical science. This include Bilang karagdagan sa dalawang pangunahing uri ng mga obserbasyon na ito, mayroon ding ilang iba pang uri ng mga obserbasyon na maaaring gawin sa physical science. Kabilang dito ang Direct observations, these are observations that are made directly with the senses, such as seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, or smelling. Direktang mga obserbasyon, ito ay mga obserbasyon na direktang ginawa gamit ang mga pandama, tulad ng nakikita, pandinig, paghipo, pagtikim, o pangamoy. Indirect observations, these are observations that are made using instruments or tools, such as a microscope, telescope, or scale. Dito hirang mga obserbasyon, ito ay mga obserbasyon na ginagawa gamit ang mga instrumento o kasangkapan, gaya ng microscopio, telescopio, o sukat. Numerical observations, these are observations that are expressed in numbers, such as the temperature of a substance, the speed of an object, or the mass of a substance. Numerical na obserbasyon, ito ay mga obserbasyon na ipinapahayag sa mga numero, tulad ng temperatura ng isang substance, ang bilis ng isang bagay, o ang masa ng isang substance. Graphical observations, these are observations that are represented in graphs or charts, such as a line graph showing the change in temperature over time or a bar graph showing the distribution of heights in a population. Mga graphical na obserbasyon, ito ay mga obserbasyon na kinakatawan sa mga graph o chart tulad ng isang line graph na nagpapakita ng pagbabago sa temperatura sa paglipas ng panahon o isang bar graph na nagpapakita ng distribusyon ng mga taas sa isang populasyon. Measurements are a way of quantifying observations. They involve assigning numbers to observations in a consistent and repeatable way. In physical science, measurements are often made using standardized units, such as meters, seconds, and grams. Ang mga pagsukat ay isang paraan ng pagbibilang ng mga obserbasyon. Kasama sa mga ito ang pagtatalaga ng mga numero sa mga obserbasyon sa pare-pareho at paulit-ulit na paraan. Sa physical science, ang mga pagsukat ay kadalasang ginagawa gamit ang mga standardized na unit, gaya ng metro, segundo, at gramo. The types of measurements that can be made in physical science are vast and varied. Some of the most common measurements include Length, mass, time, temperature, speed, acceleration, force, pressure, energy, power. Ang mga uri ng pagsukat na maaaring gawin sa physical science ay malawak at iba-iba. Ang ilan sa mga pinakakaraniwang sukat ay kinabibilangan ng Haba, Masa, Oras, temperatura, bilis, pagpapabilis, pwersa, presyon, enerhiya, lakas. Measurements are an essential part of the scientific method. They allow scientists to gather data about the natural world and to test their hypotheses. By making careful and accurate measurements, scientists can build a better understanding of the physical world. Ang mga pagsukat ay isang mahalagang bahagi ng pamamaraang siyentipiko. Pinapayagan nila ang mga siyentipiko na mangalap ng data tungkol sa natural na mundo at subukan ng kanilang mga hypotheses. Sa pamamagitan ng maingat at tumpak ng mga sukat, ang mga siyentipiko ay maaaring bumuo ng isang mas mahusay na pag-unawa sa pisikal na mundo. Which type of observation is represented in graphs or charts? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D indirect.
What is a way of quantifying observations? Letter A measurement. Letter B hypothesis. Letter C experiment. Letter D conclusion. What involves assigning numbers to observations in a consistent and repeatable way? Letter A measurement. Letter B hypothesis. Letter C experiment. Letter D conclusion. In physical science, measurements are often made using what? Letter A standardized units. Letter B hypotheses. Letter C experiments. Letter D conclusions. What are some of the most common measurements in physical science? Letter A length, mass, time, temperature, speed, acceleration, force, pressure, energy, power. Letter B hypotheses, experiments, conclusions. Letter C standardized units, graphs, charts. Letter D. All of the above. Which of the following is not a type of observation? Letter A qualitative. Letter B quantitative. Letter C direct. Letter D hypothesis. Which of the following is not a type of measurement? Letter A length. Letter B mass. Letter C time. Letter D hypothesis. Which of the following is a qualitative observation? Letter A. The metal is 5 cm long. Letter B. The metal is shiny. Letter C. The metal is cold. Letter D. All of the above. Which of the following is a quantitative observation? Letter A. The metal is shiny. Letter B. The metal is cold. Letter C. The metal is 5 cm long. Letter D. All of the above.
Which of the following is a measurement? Letter A. The metal is shiny. Letter B. The metal is cold. Letter C. The metal is 5 cm long. Letter D. All of the above. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If so, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. You can review this video to further enhance your understanding of the topic. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you found our teacher Lumaban's self-learning video enjoyable and informative. If you gained new knowledge from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We value your feedback. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We hope to see you again in our next video. May God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.